Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Scar from The Lion King. Let's get started at the top center of our page with the nose. So I'm going to start in the middle with a point. From this point I want to curve up and out towards the left. Now let's go back to the center and draw another curve going up and out towards the right. Now we're just going to round out the side of the nose. From here it's going to come down and then just curl that in. Now I just want to hook this back out, so we're just going to taper up. And then we're just going to curve down and in towards the center. Starting on the left, we'll curve down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's go in and color the nose in black. From the center of the nose, I'm going to draw a short straight line coming down towards the mouth. Now from here, it's my angle down and out on either side. With a short line. Now we're going to come back up with a short line. And then we're going to curl down the side of the mouth, coming down and out. Now going back to the top corner of the nose, we're just going to curve in towards the center. We're going to leave a gap in the top here. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in and then up. From these points, we're going to curve the upper eyelid. So from the left side, we're going to curve up and then just pull it out towards the left. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Curving up and then out. From the outside of the eye, I'm going to curve down and then back up in towards the corner of the eye. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw two half circles tucked in underneath the eyelid for the eye. So from the left we're going to step down, we're going to leave a small gap along the bottom of the eye. And then in the center we're going to draw a smaller half circle and then fill that in black. Now we're going to move up and draw the eyebrows. From the inside corner of the eye, I want to curve up and out towards the top of the eyebrow. And then I'm going to hook that back down towards the corner. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, we'll curve up towards the same height. And we'll hook that back down towards the corner. I just want to thicken up the eyebrow at the top. So starting on the outside, I'm going to taper up so it's a little bit higher in the middle. Then we'll pull that back down on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Tapering up towards the top. And then curving down towards the side. We're going to fill the eyebrows in black. Now I'm going to tuck the upper eyelid in behind the eyebrow. So we're starting on the outside here, we're just going to curve across and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right, across and then down. Now that we've drawn in the face, let's draw in the muzzle surrounding the nose and the mouth. So we start on the inside of the nose, curving out and then down on either side. And then from here, I'm going to curve down just around the mouth, coming down and then just pulling that in. Now I'm just going to hook this back out with a short curve just to create a point of hair. Now from this point, I'm going to curve down and over towards the right. Now I'm going to connect these two points with a curve going around and then back out. Now we're going to draw in the fur around the cheeks. So on the corner of the eye, I'm just going to step out, draw a curve going out and then down. We're going to do the same thing on the right, stepping out, curving out and then down. I'm going to hook this back in some fur. Now we're going to come down even lower. From this point we're going to curve out and then down. Now let's taper that back up again. We're going to draw one more point coming down and then in. Now we're just going to tuck this in behind the muzzle going up and in. From the top of this line I just want to follow that same curve of the eyebrow going up. So we're going to go all the way in and up to right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right, going around the eyebrow and towards the top. From here, we're going to curve down in towards the center. Now 
Now we're gonna go in and draw on the outside of the mane. We're gonna start from the widow's peak. We're gonna step up. I'm gonna draw a curve going out towards the right and then hooking that back over towards the left. Now I just wanna curve this back down, aiming towards this point and stop right about halfway. Now halfway along this curve, I'm gonna go over towards the left and I'm gonna curve back in, aiming towards this point, going out, stopping right about there. Let's add a curl on the left side. So halfway down here, we're gonna go out, down, and then swirl it back up. I'm gonna hook this back in. So tapering this down and over. Now we're gonna work the left side of the mane. Starting at the bottom of this curl, I'm gonna curve out, around the cheeks, and then down. I'm just gonna hook that back up with a short curve. I'm gonna continue coming down and in, around the cheeks, and pull that into about there. Now let's move over and draw on the right side of the mane. So let's start on the side of this hair, curving out. Now right here, I just wanna add a point of hair. I'm just gonna taper that back in. Now we're gonna go around the cheeks and pull that into the same height as we have on the left. From here, I just wanna add another point of fur, and taper it up. Now I'm gonna work my way down towards the bottom. Now we're gonna go all the way down here. So we start by curving down and over towards the right. Now, as we get towards the center, I'm just gonna pull that down and over towards the left. Now we're gonna go back over towards the right side. I'm gonna add another point of fur. Now I wanna make my way down to this point. So we're gonna come down and start to curl that in. I wanna add one more point of fur here. So tapering back up and we'll curve in towards the bottom of the mane. Now let's move back up and draw on the side of the ears. So in line with the eye, we're gonna step out, curve out, and then down, we'll do that on both sides. Now I'm just gonna curve that back in with a hard curve, coming in. Now I just wanna trace this out on the inside. Now that we've drawn in the head, let's work our way down the body. In the center, we're gonna come down towards the bottom of the mane, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the feet. From here, we're gonna work our way towards the left foot. From this point, I'm gonna curve down and then back up and do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then up. From this point, I'm gonna curve up towards the top of the toe and then pull it back down towards the bottom of the foot. Going up and then down, almost like a half oval. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna stack two more toes on the left side. From this point, I wanna curve down and up. We're gonna curve up to the top and then pull this in behind the front toe. We're gonna do that one more time. Curving across, go up and then back down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curving the bottom of the second toe, curve up and pull that back down. Do that one more time. Now from the top of the middle toe, we curve in and then go up the side of the leg. We're gonna go up to right about there. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna overlap the shoulders on top of the leg. So from here, we're just gonna come down, curve out, and then up. Do the same thing on the right side, curving out and then up. Now we're gonna curve in behind the body, coming up and then in. Let's add the tips of the claw on each toe. So from the left side, starting from the corner of the toe, we're gonna go up and then hook that back down. We're gonna do that to all three toes. And we're gonna fill those in black. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then fill those in black. Now we're gonna layer the hind legs in behind the front legs. So about halfway down the shoulder, right down here, curve up and then out on both sides. I'm gonna round out the knee and then come in towards the side of the leg, just above the foot. So round this out, curve down and then in, just above the middle toe. Now we're gonna take those same three toes and draw them in behind. So we start right here, Curve up and then down. Start on the side of this toe, we're gonna curve up, down. Now I'm just gonna round out the bottom of the toe, going in. Do 
that one more time. Going up, down, and curving that in. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's add the tip of the claws. Coming up and down on each of the toes. And then we're gonna fill those in black. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is add the tail over on the left side. So we're gonna start at the base of the leg out here. We're gonna curve out, around the knee, and come in. Now at the end, we're just gonna curve it back out. We're gonna add some fur along the tip of the tail. So from here, we're just gonna hook this back in. Now it's gonna follow that same curve going back out, going out and then down. We're gonna hook that back in again, and then come out towards the tip of the tail, curling around. Now from here, I just want to taper back up into here and then just follow that same curve going in behind the leg. So we start by going in. Now right here, we're just going to follow that same curve, the same thickness, all the way back in behind the leg. And up at the top, I just want to separate out the tip of the tail. So starting on the inside, I'm just going to angle up and out. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Scar from The Lion King. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.